Having one of these is what some people take for granted, but the thing is this helps prove to people that you're you. And it also gets us access into different social services, including the drop-in center right behind me. But the thing is, a lot of people coming from the streets don't have a valid photo ID, which makes it hard for shelters to identify who's coming in and who's coming out. It's a problem that shelters across the country struggle with. How to keep tabs and provide better services to clients who simply don't have a photo ID or a fixed home address. Some organizations have turned to fingerprints to identify their clients, but this can be considered invasive and also inaccurate, especially if their fingers are getting burnt from the cold. That's why there are reports of this drop-in center planning to use facial recognition technology to identify the people that are coming in and out. But there are some privacy risks when it comes to this tactic. It is a huge risk and I have to ask, what did companies and shelters do before there was the technology that they could implement? Sharon Polsky is with the Privacy and Access Council of Canada. She says what the drop-in center plans to do is legal because it is a nonprofit organization, but it could still have consequences. It's not unlawful. But that means that the organization collecting the information can set their own terms and is answerable to nobody. Not only that, Polsky says the technology isn't perfect. Facial recognition is notoriously inaccurate for non-white skin, for women of color, uh, people who aren't able to take a shower and maintain wonderful hygiene daily they might present differently than a system is designed to read. We spoke to a client of this drop-in center who didn't want to share his name. However, he says he sees the benefit of having the technology. I think facial recognition would be a lot faster, sometimes more secure, I guess, in some cases. Yeah, I think after like six months, they should get rid of the, your face out of their uh, database. Now the drop-in center did not get back to City News with a comment before broadcast deadline. In Calgary, Brittany Rosen, City News.